Hello, uh, this is an update on my prototype honeybee hive monitoring system. Uh, while I can certainly get data by ripping apart the hive and doing a full inspection, it'll be really nice to have data from a scale and a few other, um, a few other sensors, maybe a temperature sensor and a humidity sensor inside the hive, uh, showing me what's going on. The scale will let me know when I need to add boxes to accept more honey, or maybe in the winter, um, let me know if the bees are um, eating too much of their honey and I might need to go in and do an emergency feeding. Uh, but in the future, I hope to correlate the data with other observed problems uh, like diseases or um, the bees about to go and swarm and start another hive and maybe preempt some of those problems or treat them more quickly um, than if I just caught it at the next scheduled inspection. Um, it's based on the Apertronics platform, um, which I backed on a Kickstarter, mainly because it's all open source. Um, they've, they've got an input for power. Here's where the data from various sensors um, comes in. Um, the power is conditioned on the board, or the power goes into a circuit to charge the battery. And the system sends back data every 15 minutes or so. Um, the Arduino compatible, um, or the Arduino IDE compatible board, um, allows me to make sketches relatively easily um, that then send the data through the XB uh, at 900 megahertz to the BeagleBone Black, which is a well-known open source platform. Um, and they've got some other open source software that um, saves the data to the BeagleBone Black uh, in a database and makes it available through um, little web pages um, on the local network. Eventually, um, I'll, I'll write a script to make it available um, to other, uh, other cloud databases, and they're working on um, their own cloud database that they, they already have it streaming to, um, if, if you want. So um, the, the data from the scale is, what is mainly what I've been working on, uh, because I already have temperature sensors implemented. The scale um, is read by a 24-bit analog-to-digital converter, which reads the, um, the signal from the load cell. Um, here's a bigger load cell that I'm hoping to use in the future. Um, it's um, fixed on one side on the bottom and on the other side on the top, and it puts this, this area, um, which has a circuit in here called the Wheatstone Bridge, and um, it takes the, um, it's excited by a certain voltage, and the signal is proportional to that voltage and to the strain induced on the on the load cell and so it sends back a signal in the millivolts and the low signal is why uh, it's nice to have a 24-bit or 22-bit uh, analog to digital converter um, this board is uh, basically uh, the reference design for the hx711 uh, eventually i'll i'll design and release my own uh, copy of it um, and the reason for that is that um, it's really best to just use the cable um, that is included with the load cell um, connected directly to the analog to digital converter uh, because the cable is part of the Wheatstone bridge circuit and um, any extra resistance can kind of throw it out of um, adjustment a bit. So while um, in this case I'll be mounting the analog to digital converter board kind of on the side or maybe on the, on the lid of the of the enclosure. Eventually, um, it would be ideal to um, have a, a separate little enclosure and, and pass this wire uh, directly onto the board and then have it read on the, um, on the Apertronics B um, through the serial connection that the HX711 provides. Um, so the next steps um, for this for this particular prototype, I'll be adding the HX711 somewhere in here and passing the, the signal through the gland on the outside. Um, and I'll also be adding a temperature sensor um, because the load cells can be temperature uh, sensitive to temperature, at least by um, can vary by a few percent. Um, and in the future, um, I, I kind of plan to do away with the um, with the scale and just design a couple of plates to hold the load cell by itself. Um, but for now, using a uh, postal scale will work just fine. Um, and that's my update.